guys. All right, where are we, John? Well, we're at uh, CJC in uh, El Paso County here, uh, ready to bail Jack Semple, well, a.k.a. Jack Semple, but Timothy, out of uh, jail for uh, obstruction, the uh, same charge that Amber was uh, charged with last night. And she night. was released last night. She was, she was bailed out last night. We, we bailed her out. We hadn't had any contact with Jack. We've been trying to get in contact with him. We finally did today, and so we're here to bail him out. Um, we wanted to make sure that's what he wanted. And uh, we're about to find out how quick we can get him out, but it's probably going to be at least a couple hours. All right, so. let's go do it. Good, who are you? Did you want to pick up over here. Who's the fastest? Hmm? We are man to some paperwork and they'll put it up there on the desk for a while and then they'll go they got to run he's back up in the housing so they're gonna have to call for him to be taken out and brought down in the holding and then released the whole time it's gonna take usually it says two hours minimum sometimes it can be even longer so we'll see the bond is $240 because of this $30 substance fee and $10 bonding fee so it would normally be 200 And then it's 200 The bond is 200 but plus the fees is 200 Plus the fees, yeah. Let's see here, yeah. The minimum wait is two hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Minimum wait. Yeah. Wow. Hey, John, do you mind? And it was pretty dead on last night with Amber. And she was still in the hold. Mom, I'm going to take a drink. Yeah, help us. I'm not going to see you. He's going to do something else before the two hours pass. Like, do I need to stop filming? Or? Well, we're going to... Is he going to come to the window again? Yeah, we're going to have to pay. We'll oh. Give us a receipt, and then we'll wait. Okay. So they're still, they're still relevant. Still. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not done here with the, the transaction. The, 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 human, the human cargo. Yeah. <laughs> you got to spring them out. How much is the human life worth? <laughs> How much is standing up? Apparently $240. How much is standing up for your first amendment right? <coughs> How much does it cost? Apparently this much. The tents will come back. You know, that's, a, that's a non issue. The tents will get those back, but just not right away. It can be up to a year that they can hold us. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm just saying if they wanted to yeah. play their games. Well. Games are, I guess, meant to be played. Let's, let's just have fun. Let's take it to <laughs> 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 
So that was good. Had a little bit of cold weather and some blowing wind, but not the blizzard that was called for. Mm -hmm. It might come in Tuesday, on Tuesday. That's how Colorado is, though. You never know. Yeah, you never know. I should never be a weatherman here. <laughs> it's a joke. Well, it's just you get preparing for the worst is, or knowing what the worst could be is good. <laughs> Hanging on every single forecast. Is okay, this level. bond amount total will be 240 are you guys going to do that in cash? Yes, sir. <coughs> is that your own here or is that Occupy? This is a loan. Jack said we're going to figure out a way. So, we're going to figure out a way. <laughs> Money's funny anyways. There you go. Money comes and goes. Well, money's not what we think it is. <coughs> money's not even worth what it's supposed to be. You just believe it's worth something, so therefore it is. Can I, go I, just, I just don't understand why someone else's time yeah, is worth so much more than someone else's doing the same job in different places. It's just, you know, I, I don't know. But we can talk about that for a couple hours probably. <laughs> Well, so now you should be coming back with a receipt. <coughs> and then after the receipt, <coughs> then we're just kind of waiting, waiting for him to be taken out of the out of his holding and put through, you know, the the process of getting out of here. D. Louse and prison showers shake down. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you do got to go turn your clothes back in and all this business. And you still do the strip search too? Well, yeah. When you come in, you you put all your belongings into a plastic bag, and then they, you keep your underwear. So yeah. And uh, then they give you the either the blue suit or the orange suit or Jack whatever it is. Whether you got a fe uh, felony or a, a misdemeanor, and then. Uh, they send you into the tank, and then as soon as they get housing for you, they send you off to the other towers or whatever. So he was probably in the tank all night long. Hmm. Well, that's just the group. So yeah, that's where everybody goes before they get like a yeah. Stuff. And those those are usually kind of peaceful. It's not like federal prison or anything. No, yeah, no. I mean, it's what's federal? Because it's prison? other people like DUIs and stuff like that. Yeah, what's federal think, prison? Federal prison, like. Prison owned by the federal government. What's federal mean? Uh, national. So you know how there's states, and then there's the United States of America. So the whole United States, like that, whoever's in charge of that, is that's federal. Like 
like you know, like the government in Washington D.C. is the capital, even though it's not where it states, it's a district. It's that's the federal government. But like states have their own governments. Like even the cities, like the city, like this is a government thing for the city, for El Paso County. So We're in Colorado Springs is, is in El Paso County. Oh, okay. Yeah, the county. Amanda! Yeah. Mommy! Can you This is all, it's all prison made stuff? Yeah, so everyone, everything here is made by an inmate. Okay. Yeah. That's like the stuff that you can get in there, like either. Are these know, made by jail people? Yeah, toilet paper, paper mache or something. Are these, these people? Toilet paper rolls over here. So it's all made from things they had in prison? Yep. So people are in prison with this? Yeah. It's like part of an actual, like, Orange coat, and you just made it into like a, a doll size. Wow. Is that what most people do in jail? Yeah. It's a lot of time to think and be act, you know, stay active. A lot of this is the only escape for some people. I just I want to wait uh, until they get called, and then the two-hour period I can I don't have to film for that. I just I just you know if if something interesting happens I'll I'll press record again. So. Oh oh really? Oh I was just checking the walls and stuff. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
you want to set yourself up as a surety on that, which means that if there's any money to come back, it comes back to you uh -huh. since you're the person posting the bond. If you do it other as a cash only, the other way would be it's just a cash bond and then you don't get anything back. So you want to be set up as a surety on here. I need to get your name and address and I want to have you sign. Okay. But I need you to sign on, on this side. I'll sign on that side. Okay. I, now, when we came and got Amber last night, um, was, the way I understood it is the bond, the two hundred dollars or whatever, is would be when they show up at court, that gets refunded, right? So, I I put it in her name last night because she refunded me the funds, or she will be. And so, well, if, you that, put, if you put if you set yourself up on this side, uh -huh. then you're the one that's going to deal with the court, and whatever money gets comes back, you directly would get it back. Okay. The other way, the defendant, they get anything or not, it goes to the defendant. The court will deal with you. But it goes to the defendant, right? If he's going to get anything, and then right. he still has to go to the court to get that. Okay. Well, yeah, let's. That's up to you. Well, for, yeah, let's let's just do me as a signer. For sir, as a sir. This, yeah. Okay. What's your what's your mailing address? Okay. You want to see? Okay, here, because mine's stopped. No, please. I'm just gonna need my ID. Is your address correct on there? On the back. Well, actually, yeah, it is correct on here now. I got a new one. We'll just use that real quick then. There's a pen. Yeah, right under your printed name, there's a place to sign. Okay. And I do I have to ch check mark surety or whatever? Uh, I'll do that for you. Okay. And today is the 6th of November. That is correct. so goofy and I saw last night. I mentioned that I can't mention the I'm so tired. I know, right? A couple hours of sleep every other day is uh, not a very healthy way hey, to do things. Hey, the revolution doesn't sleep. Plenty of time for sleep when it's over. That's right. Sleep when you're dead. Sleep alone. Long time. That death might come Catch a little up. sooner if you're not sleeping. Hey, 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 man. What do you do? Can we have a hug? Because you're just too cute. Please. What's up, buddy? I feel like a monkey, but... Angry Burst time. Occupied for hours. <laughs> I know, I know, that's why I'm not going to go to work today. Well, I might. I've got to go to work. I'm going to 
but oh, I know. you can skip half of work. Exactly. You, you give them a good reason. I, I told them the truth, and that's always a good reason. You know, these people used to say the truth gives you out of more trouble, but when I did that, it just gave me more trouble. But you know what? It's worth it. I said I'm going to be money. honest yeah. and genuine. Truthful. Is that regardless, regardless of, of It's a money order. Oh. Hey, Mr. Martinez. Yes. I have one more spot right there. Okay. I don't see Jackson. See where I have your name printed? Yes, sir. Just right underneath that. Like yeah. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up because I thought you guys get the right. Like, yeah, well, sometimes when people are really excited, you just want to be around them. Like me with you? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. You're going to grab him and be like, yeah, and Jack once he comes out. So I'm so excited. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what time it is anymore, lady. Jack stood there, taped to the to the tent post, reading the Constitution. That was beautiful. Explained to the officers about their duty to uphold the Constitution, and uh, it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. Uh, whether or not you know he deserved to get the ticket because of the permits, uh, the city ordinances. Or, or whether or not he's a hero for doing you know something like that, afterwards. taking such a stand. Um, I mean, the fact is that he to he's definitely making a difference. In, in, uh, we all are. Not, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it's, some people think it's reckless. Some people think that uh, we should be waiting. And, and this and that's not Jack's stand. It's just Jack is riding the wave. He keeps saying there's always a reason to wait. So. Jack's arrival of a jail is going to be fantastic. It is not profitable. Not to make a deity out of the guy. I mean, he's, you know, just a, a regular human being. He deserves been, props, though. He's been through the war, and he's been through, you know, some, some deep soul searching, and he's been through the system, and he wants it to be better. He knows that he, he realizes that yesterday. when he swore you know, to, the, this, to uphold the Constitution, that uh, he might not have done it so much when he was active duty. And, and uh, you know, we learn from our mistakes, and that's what he's trying to, to let people know and, and share, you know, that it is important, and it is a big deal. And it's not just something trivial, and it's not something that should be scoffed at or ignored, and it shouldn't be uh, just... But what's the big deal, though? What is it, what is it that is the big deal? About what? About Jack? Uphol about upholding this? the Constitution and, and allowing people their right to free speech when, they're, when they have agreements with their country and not be restricted by permits. If, if someone wants to think that that's not part of what this movement's about, then you know, I think they're mistaken. It definitely is. Um, whether it's what the whole movement's about, of course it's not. This thing is about a lot of things. It's about changing a whole lot of things. But there are certain important things that need to be addressed, like the right to live, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Liberty. And if you can't sleep, if you can't ex exercise your right to free speech, if you're moving restricted, we're losing our, our these rights, you know, how much more do you take just laying down, and how long do you wait before you do make a stand before something, I mean, you know. It's time. It's time. It's time. Yeah, what do you think last night was like a... It wasn't a splinter, but it was at the same time. The, like how, how can we learn from what happened? Well, we need to understand that we're in this together whether or not we think we're separated or not. Um, we need to support. I mean, we could have done this. We should be having way more support than it seems we have right now. I know we do, but not everybody is uh, connected in a way. We don't have the network set up yet. We're working on that, I suppose. Um, I, mean, I think I, I stand in full support of what happened yesterday, and uh, I was there the whole time, and I'm still working on it, trying to get them out. So. 
I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all very normal stuff. It's on chaotic, exhausting way. We're here right now? Ryan just called me to see if we could come, if, if I could come down there because they wanted to do an interview. I said, well, we're down here. Where, in the park? Yeah, because he put K way, he called him and to do an interview. Tell them they come here. I, that's what I said, okay. dude. I said, dude, you know what? Because they were wanting to ask him about what, what's going on. And he already yeah. told him. Hey, Mr. Martinez. Yes, sir. Okay. That is your copy for the uh, for the bond? Okay. okay. The rest of the copy of the actual bond itself, there's a goldenrod copy. Okay. That... Mr. Semple will have with him when he's released. Okay. That's the one that you guys need to hold on to and separate uh, and then go to the court at the end of the case. Okay? That's the one for the return of, the, of, of any monies that will be returned. Okay? Okay. So anything that isn't used for fines and costs the, as a return to the surety, that goldenrod copy is how you get all that back. Okay. And Mr. Semple will have that with him when he's released. Okay. Okay? They're going to take the file and they're going to go through the process. It takes two to six hours from the time that you post that. You just posted it. We're a little bit lighter today, so it shouldn't be on the high end. We should be closer to the two hours. Okay. Okay? Sounds good. Any more questions? No. Okay. We'll get working on it and get them out as soon as we can. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so yep. much. All right, so we have about two hours. We'll, uh, I guess, wait around. Okay.